Hi, my name is Abbeth Russell, and I'm an artist based out of Portland, Maine. Today, I'm going to be showing you, in the next few minutes, how to draw lips using charcoal. When drawing facial features, or any realistic object for that matter, it's a good idea to not think of the object you're drawing, in this case lips, instead think of it as areas of light and shadow and as a variety of shapes put together. So a good idea is to have a mirror and look at your own lips and notice that the top lip is just a little bit darker than the bottom lip and there's an area of shadow beneath the bottom lip. I'm going to have you start out by taking your soft piece of vine charcoal and just shading in a little area at the center of your page. This will give you a middle ground to work from, something that's not white and not completely black, which you can use to shade in darker areas or pull out lighter areas using your gummy eraser. All right, so look at your lips and find that point in the middle where your bottom lip and your top lip meet. And this can be drawn with just a simple line. Now, notice that your top lip is a bit darker, as I said earlier. You can shade that in with your charcoal. And you're going to add another little line for the area below your bottom lip. The bottom lip tends to be much fuller than the top lip. All right, now you're going to add just a little bit of shading to that lower lip. Right now I'm drawing the lips just kind of at a middle point, not smiling, not frowning, but just lips at rest. Here's where you can use your gummy eraser to pull out the little highlights on the lower lip. You'll notice that there's some creases in the bottom lip and often the light will hit the areas right next to these creases. You can draw these lines in with your eraser and notice how the light tends to follow the curve of the lips. And you want to add just a little bit of another highlight to the top lip. And keep looking back and forth between your paper and the subject that you're drawing. You'll see that the light hits the area right above the top lip. And you can even shade in that little indent right above your top lip. Usually right next to an area of shadow, there will be a little area of lightness. You can keep adding and subtracting with your eraser and your charcoal until you feel confident that the lips on your page match the lips that you see in the mirror. My name is Abbeth Russell and I just showed you how to draw lips using charcoal.